Greetings Indie Warriors, and welcome to another weekly rundown of upcoming indie games for the week of November 14th through the 20th of 2022. Before we get into the big list, we want to take a moment to thank our great indie sponsor this week, Gato Games, and their recent release, Battle Dawn 2 Terra Reborn. Battle Dawn 2 is a skill-based strategy MMO where players must work together to defeat massive foes. With a huge emphasis on team play, you might end up creating lasting friendships outside of the game thanks to real-time harvest servers. If you enjoy games like Risk or love playing chess, Battle Dawn 2 might be the indie for you. Join the action now as the game is free to play using the link in our description box below. Alright then, time for more awesome indie game releases. They should call me Old Stuffy Joe. I apologize, I am battling a little bit of illness right now, but I wanted to be here for you anyways. We can't cover every indie release, obviously that's not humanly possible, but we did cover a lot of the bigger indies in our previous November rundown. That link is in the description box below. Each and every week we go over some of the indie releases that we missed as well. So here we go, let's get into it. Kicking it off on the 14th, we have atmospheric adventure game Somerville. Releasing on PC and Xbox day one with Game Pass, Somerville comes to us from Jump Ship, a studio created by the co-creator of Inside and Limbo. The influence is pretty apparent here as you solve puzzles and try to survive an alien invasion that's left the world in ruins. Keep it tuned to I Dream of Indie Games for a full review. Let's get weird everyone because McPixel 3 is launching on the 14th and it's time to save the day. Play as this unlikely hero as you avoid disastrous situations in this fast paced frantic collection of levels and mini games that will keep you on the edge of your seat. I played a demo of this one a while back and it was hilarious so I'm looking forward to the final version. Top-down shooter Zero Cyvert is next, entering Steam Early Access. Loot gear, survive a wasteland, and navigate procedurally generated maps in this survival shooter. This is a ruined world that you'll need to do whatever it takes in order to survive.
Yet another destroyed world that seems to be a theme this month so far. Floodland is a post-apocalyptic survival game where you once again have to survive by any means possible. Created by some of the folks involved with This War of Mine, you can expect a deep, rewarding, and intricate game that should keep players busy for hours. And then a fruitful start meant one thing. Expansion. We welcomed others like us, gave them food, shelter. We did good. But opening our doors with kindness had its consequences. It drew attention from prying eyes and untrustworthy souls that take advantage of good and honest folk. But our dreams still haven't sunk like the ruins of the civilization that came before. Our chance to shape society has come. A society that's learnt from a bygone era of greed and excess. And in this new world, we will need to innovate. From makeshift shacks to what will stand not tall, but steady and strong. Luck began our journey here. It gave us a path to survival. But we wanted more than survival. We sought a sanctuary. A home. And we found it here. Floodland. First-person horror fans, the creepy-looking Bendy and the Dark Revival is coming to PC and later on consoles. In this sequel to Bendy and the Ink Machine, you'll wander through a classic cartoon studio and use strategy and combat in hopes of surviving. Discover the scary secrets soon, if you dare. Death, children of the machine. For 211 days, you've lived without the ink demon haunting your steps. I banished him away. In return, I ask just a little favor. There is a stranger. Bring her to me. else. Stay away from the ink demon. What's an ink demon? He likes to smile, and he kills anything that moves. Here goes nothing. Indie action RPG Bound by Blades offers two-player co-op, which I love, and a heavy emphasis on boss encounters. Battle a corrupt power and take down 10 unique bosses, all while gaining new abilities and gear. This should be fun, especially with a friend. Coming to the Switch, The Bounty Huntress is a Metroidvania title that was previously released on Steam and has players taking control of Rhea, who's attempting to save the city of Venard. Featuring a pixel art style, you'll utilize various skills and weaponry if you hope to have any chance of surviving the game's seven areas.
from the 20 year Otawara Mono series, sorry about that, that's probably completely wrong, comes Monochrome Mobius, Rights and Wrongs Forgotten. This is an RPG taking place in a small town where you play as the hero Ashtar. This story also features a bunch of other names I'm going to suck at pronouncing, so yeah, I'll just stop. This one's available on PC on the 16th, I believe it's going to be on PlayStation, but only in Japan for now. Correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> そう Survival simulator Nobody the Turnaround takes place in a parallel world with a focus on smaller, poor communities. You play as a nobody as you try to survive in this oppressive world. Build relationships, work your way from the bottom up, and even enjoy a sandbox mode. Minia, but don't really know. They are the nameless multitude. The nobodies that constitute the world. Come, rediscover real life through a different pair of eyes. Do away with things taken for granted. Feel the thriving and struggle of lives, experienced in so many perspectives. We are the nobodies, and we are equal. Last but certainly not least, Succubus with Guns is heading over to Switch. This is a third-person shooter where you collect a variety of weapons and send the dead back to the grave once again. With plenty of bouncing boobs and ass shots, pervy fans should be all about this one on the Nintendo Switch previously on PC. So that's all for this week, Indie Warriors. Thank you so much for supporting clickbait-free content here at I Dream of Indie. Remember to subscribe and check out the description box to learn more ways to support us. Become an Indie Warrior for amazing perks and help us bring a voice to the voiceless ones in gaming.